this is Buzzing B um, filling in, and uh, I've got uh, Chambers um, also with me. Um, he's here to, uh, you know, cause a little bit of a trouble as he, as he often does wherever he goes. Uh, so it's going to be, it's gonna be quite an interesting um, show this evening. But the topics that we're dealing with today, I just want to welcome everyone. Uh, just uh, want to thank um, Pastor Reverend Hall um, before us, who preceded uh, the show, uh, as usual, just um, uh, put on a nice show. But we, we today was looking at, at, at religion today. Uh, that's going to be our first topic. We could deal with two topics today. And the first one is, what is the point of religion? Do you think that generally it has, it, it has had a positive or negative effect on the world? As well, particularly our world, <laughs> and also we. Yes, that's the first topic that we'll be looking at, Chambers. So, thinking of uh, of, of uh, you know, you know, uh, religion and what is the point of it, um, Chambers. Just give us because I know that you are you know Chambers has written a number of books. He's an etymology, he's an etymology specialist, decoding language and things like that. You know, he puts the <laughs> words into context and so forth. Them, but we're going to look at, at religion and six hours. What does it mean, really? Religion. What is it? Well, f- firstly, to in order to uh, study religion, you have to know about the science of interpretation uh, right. called mm-hmm. hermeneutics. Right. So that's the that's the first requirement to have this discussion at the right level is to the science of interpretation which is hermeneutics this was a, this was considered a science and only the people who are masters of this science were qualified to talk about religion so once again hermeneutics it's spelled h e r m e n e u t i c s and it's the entire science of interpretation especially the science of divine interpretation it comes from the greek god hermes uh, which was the co- god of commerce, invention, cunning, and theft. So that sounds a bit of a strange requirement to start out with. Like you've got to have a knowledge of cunning, theft, and invention, and commerce to be able to study um, scriptures of a divine nature. Um, and it's a skill of translating or interpreting written, verbal, and non verbal communication. The early uses of hermeneutics, which is once again is the science of interpretation, which was the required science of this, uh, looking at religion or the Bible, it places in, in the boundaries of the sacred, so it was a sacred science, mm-hmm. and only one skilled in a rational method of interpretation, i.e. a hermeneutic, was considered qualified to interpret truth or falsity in divine message, scripture, or text. So once again, to talk about religion, you have to at least have some knowledge of hermeneutics, which is a rational method of interpretation, considered or qualified to interpret the truth or, or falsity in divine message or text. The science of interpretation it involves exegesis, which is the study of logo, which is words, logic, puns, metaphors, allegories, philology. Philology is the science of the the time when the scripture was written, also um, the the essence of the author who wrote the script. And and synthesis is when you put you have empathy of the culture and how the people lived. So these are the basic requirements to talk about religion. Is you need to have knowledge of words, scripture, texts, metaphors, allegory, philology, which is actually the time when the scripture was written, and that is the first requirement. If you do not have knowledge of hermeneutics, there's a danger that you'll be doing eisegesis instead of exegesis. Eisegesis is when someone's own ideas, biases, opinions and emotion uh, come into uh, the argument. So it's, it's not exactly knowledge, but it's when someone's putting their own biases, opinions in. So that's the basics. So the basics, hopefully we're going to apply some of that, is using the science of hermeneutics, which is look, you have to look at the logic, you have to look at the, the times when the text was written, you have to look at the play on the words, the puns, the metaphors and the allegories, before yeah. we even start to talk, to, to so talk about that's, that's, the, that's, that. the, that's the foundation of right. what this, this discussion is going to be. Going to be yeah. Yeah. So, yes, we have to look at the foundation of, of what it represents, so obviously uh, I don't think we're off to a very good start. Yeah. 
<laughs> in that sense. If you want to join the conversation here today, the number is 07375-752-271. We want you to, if you want to join the conversation on this Sunday morning. You're listening to slamradio.co.uk, probably the, the brightest and the best to listen to. Uh, I'm just Buzz and B and Jammer's here. We are covering for Grace and Amanda. Yeah, so we're talking about uh, our religion today uh, and, and and what is the point of it and, and what has it done, you know, has it has it been a positive or, or negative effect on the world? And Jammer's just saying, well, there's something quite sinister about it. Uh, seem to I, be did, I just brought down the science around this. And I was, well, I did, well, it, well, you I did say there's something yeah, sinister yeah, 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 about yeah, it yeah, because you're saying that within its very definition that it's a corn uh, uh, um, am I right in saying that that, that well, well, effectively you to, you're a corn right away you need to know about trickery as well because in the breakdown of the interpretation of the science of hermeneutics the god Herms was the god of cunning trickery deception right. and invention and that's really so by definition of hermeneutics you have to know all of these skills yes and all right and I'm going to reference when I'm talking today I'm going to reference from the new strong's exhaustive concordance of the bible so my reference is in 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 is in exact with the the, the study of hermeneutics where I'm not going to be giving my ideas and opinions I'm just going to take it on the basis of the reference point is the new Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible so basically this book has every word in the Bible the scripture where you can find the word and the Hebrew and the Greek uh, 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 def definitions of where the words uh, derive from concordance means being of one mind so it's a complete understanding so any priest or any priest or high high level deacon in the church has to know the Hebrew, the Greek, and the, how the languages, the morphology, how the language has travelled, how the meanings have been changed, uh, uh, to, to, to get a true meaning of the Bible. So uh, we're doing it from that. So basically, I'm going to start with the word religion. Right. So, so the, so the question is, what is the point of it then? Yeah. So I'm going to give you right. So basically, I'm going to start with the word religion, <laughs> right. and through this definition of the word religion, you'll find the point of the actual uh, of, of what what's of, the of point what it of it. Is, yeah. But has it been has it been a force for good? Uh, you know, uh, um, in terms of the, you know, uh, what it has done, has it been a force for good? Right. First, we're going to look at the word. Or, or evil for that. Yeah, yeah. So, for that right, by, right. Let's see what the real word religion says now. Re means to go back. That's without question. You look in. It's, it's a it's a prefix that means to go back. But back into what? Yeah. So this is religion now. We don't not no opinions at the word religion. Then you've got legion. In English, legion. Lig means to to tie to bound like your leg. Sorry, leg. Re leg. Mm -hmm. So it means to tie. Leg means to tie back. It means to tie something back. Like in, for instance, your ligament. A ligure is something that is used to bind something with, like an obligation. That means when you're tied to something. So basically, in English, religion means to tie back. There's no African word that is equal significant. It is not this. This word cannot be found in in African script in African language. Unless someone can correct me today and find that there is a there is a similarity. I know there's an insignia, but that means to move outward. So it, religion means to tie back. That's in English. If you look at Hebrew, the Hebrew word for for religion, and this is the strong coordinates two, three, five, six. Religion gives you the word chore. A cavity, a cave, or a hole. So in Hebrew, religion means a cavity, a cave, or a hole. If you go to uh, Greek, you get the word three. Let me get this word. Threaskos. Threaskos is a ceremonious worship, uh, or and, and but it's based on three Mia, Threo Mia. So basically, the word Greek, if you go to the word Greek, it's the root word of the word Greek is Thruma Eo, which basically is spelled is T H R O E O M A I. And it means to clamor by implication to frighten or trouble. So the roots of the word religion means to hold back, to frighten or trouble by a, a ceremony. And if you look at the word religion, you go to 
Roman mythology. Uh, I'm reading from a book by uh, Stuart Perone on Roman mythology. You'll find out there's a in the early Romans, because basically around the period started from the Nephilim era, from a people who the Romans called the Ligurus. Ligurus almost sound like Ligurus, but the Ligurus <laughs> were from entered. Italy from North Africa. Because you've got to look, if you made this, if you've got a word called like religion, what does the word relate to? Religion. Because as I say, the people could say it means bound back, can say it means hold, can be, say it means can, can be threatened. But what does it relate to? Well, at the time, there's a people from North Africa called the Ligurians. So basically, this this is a, a struct, this has been created to hold. The North Africans back the original creation because North Africa was where where language was created by the Carthaginians. This is where we get phonetics from. Phonetics is the science of language. It was created in North Africa by the Carthaginians who had a battle through Hannibal, um, which almost brought the Roman army to their knees. They they taught the Roman the meaning of the word fear. Mm -hmm. So the, they they had a battle, and then so basically what they've done to keep these people never from it, boy, it got so bad. But the, the Carthaginians they burnt themselves in the church because they did, none of them was going to go into slavery. So the last six hundred, I believe, burnt themselves to death in the church because they was not going to be enslaved. They were warriors. They fought to death, and the Romans were so fearful of these people that they when they went to the land they they burnt everything down and and threw salt on the ground so nothing could grow back. So with this in mind, they created this to stop anything like this rising again. So they, they, it, the religion was designed to, originally designed to hold the North Africans back from the Ligurians. So it was designed to hold the, no, the North Africans back into bondage. Right, so so there we are. We, we, we have a, a, a historical um, analysis uh, of how religion and why religion was invented in the first place and, and, what, and what its intended purpose is, is, was at the time. Is it still the same today? Is it still a, a holding? Are we been holding the pen psychologically? And what are the positive effects? Because we want to look at, at, at what people perceive mm -hmm. as positive effects and perhaps the negative effects I'm sure that there will be different um, views on, on this and some people might say well you know uh, one of the positive effects of religion is that it brings people together is there a argument for that it creates a sense of you know community it allows people to to a common goal to, to do things together it helps people to I mean, you're saying that it was created to to to, uh, um, to bind people, uh, perhaps in a negative way. But some people would argue that it does quite the opposite. That it, particularly when you look at certain countries in the world and they use religion as a way of uh, galvanizing their ideas and uh, and give almost give it, giving them a a sense of purpose, a, a reason to feel united, even. Only if it's a perception, it might not be even real, but what does it matter when you're desperate? You, you need a bit, a bit of hope. It gives some people a sense of uh, hope. It provides me into life. And perhaps it explains some of the questions that we, are, that we often ponder about uh, uh, philosophical. We believe, give people, you know, the, the sense that, 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 that there's something greater than themselves. And uh, more importantly, some people would argue, you can focus on one god rather than several gods. So, looking at the positives, uh, uh, some people may say that, that that is one of the positive uh, um, effects of religion. But you, you're saying that it, it, it's somehow designed to almost uh, um, incarcerate us psychologically, and it's torn um, in, in many respects, according to what you've just demonstrated there, and the reason why it was created in the first place, to con people, to hold them in a pen, and I know you, you're going to have, you, you can give me some etymology on the word pen, you know, penitentiary, and so forth, and so forth, so, so is religion one of those penitentiary, um, you know, Okay, I've just outlined to you uh -huh, yeah. what you've, you've attacked with a machine. I've come, <laughs> come with a water pistol. You've come back with a machine. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about buzzing me. How many times did you see me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, 
well, well, I mean, that's the whole crux of the matter, you and know. It's just, just the start, is this? Wow. Well, I know. I mean, you've put a fi- you've put a finer point on it by 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 looking at the history of the region, and I think it's very important to do mm-hmm. that because quite often people are way down, you know, the line into something mm-hmm. in which they have no idea about the originality mm-hmm. and what and what it actually represents, and in, mm-hmm. and in some respects that. A uh, uh, um, particular reason why it created tends not to go away. It still have that to some degree. Mm-hmm. But based on what I've just outlined to you, and what people would argue that these are some of the positive effects of religion: keep people together, they focus on one goal, they, it gives a new meaning to life, they're able to focus on one God. What, do, what, in light of what you've just um, described to the audience, giving them a good historical analysis about the origins of it and what it was created for, what do you say to that? My first statement is: I am not saying any. Thing. It's not my bias. <laughs> it's not my opinion. <laughs> it's not my idea. It's not my theory. It's not my. Religion. I right. am just quoting from the New Strong's exhaustive right. accordance of the Bible. Yes. For one, right. so it's a reference I am taking um, right. in accordance with the science of hermeneutics. Right. My second reference about the Ligurians uh, comes from Roman mythology. The author is is a is a European, so not European, sorry, Western uh, author, Stuart. Perone, that's P-E-R-O-W-N-E. So basically, this is uh, evidence, well, f- so-called factual evidence that I've just taken. Right, in, a, in, a, in answer to the question now, mm-hmm. yes, uh, we have spiritual, we have brought our culture and our spirit into this this uh, religion. And we have, through our spirit and our culture and our energy and our forces and our psychology and our dynamics, we have been able to use this, as you've quite rightly said, to galvanize the family, to have an essence of what's right or wrong, to create close-knit uh, communities, mm-hmm. and to have a platform for where we can air different views. So, ah, so are you... Hold, hold, hold your point right there. You said you mentioned most of the things I've mentioned that we were able to to use that to galvanize us for a pin or whatever. But so the, so therefore, are you I'm, are you saying that the, it, it that is so it does, so it can be a force for good? Then so it's not the big con or the sinister uh, uh, plot to to, to 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 incarcerate people psychologically or, or to keep them in prison in in the prisons of their minds. It's, so there is some value to it if it's used in the right way isn't it it is some value to it (laughs) (laughs) well damage is going to tell us about that value there is he's he's conceding that (laughs) i think it's going i mean i mean we've just started and he's already conceded imagine that you that you're bringing a pistol to you're bringing a pistol to you know to 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 a cannon fight you know damage you, you you turn up you know this is the this is the big Top thing here, and you bring the pistol to the, uh, 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 um, you know, to the fight. Well, you to heard, a machine gun fight. You heard us a squeeze. Metaphorically that. speaking, of course. You heard how I squeeze that. It is. Squeeze. Did you say the word yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say squeeze? <laughs> be, care, be careful here. <laughs> we don't. I wish to apologise, listeners. We don't do squeeze on this show. Grace and Manda, I just wish to apologise on behalf on behalf of my guests. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead again. The problem is. <laughs> the problem is with all of this. Right. We're basing all our energies uh-huh. on a belief. That's a belief, right? That is the problem, That's the problem. Right. of religion. That all the energies come down to one thing, thing: a belief. The problem with the word "believe" is that it doesn't encompass ownership. The essence behind this um, religion is that you're supposed to be happy to turn the other cheek, give everything away, (laughs) wait until you have passed away to get benefits. That is the problem of religion. It's so, so there's a benefit a system religion. even even in heaven. It can, can, <laughs> eh? it can get uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. So is there criteria then uh, um, for these benefits? Yeah, and the, pro- the next there's, there's another. There's two other problems. According to I believe it's Revelations chapter seven, only well, a, I, I wouldn't know. A hundred and forty-four thousand people can get into heaven. So what's the which point? Is, which what's is, the point? <laughs> what's the point of the rest of the, the other yeah, seven so billion people? So. It's, which is roughly the size of two football stadiums. Right. So as far as I'm concerned, there's been so many. So 
you know, you know, you've got me thinking now because, you know, because I remember that you, you that you we, we had a discussion mm-hmm. some time ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it was about religion and stuff, and, and you said you were there to save the people because you thought you were <laughs> 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 because the be, because the moderator kind of <laughs> interjected because of time concerns, oh, and um, you said you you were there to save the people. Ironically, um, but. Yes, but if 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 only 144,000, according to what you just said about this revelation thing, then what is the I point? I find my Bible at some point. Oh, oh you, you brought your Bible with you. Oh, good. Jamal just come prepare there. He's got his he's got his Bible. Uh, um, listeners there, ladies and gentlemen, he's got his Bible. If you want to get involved in this uh, conversation, it's just heating up. You're listening to slamradio.co.uk uh, with uh, Grace and Amanda, amazing Grace. And but today I'm buzzing B. Uh, I'm I'm covering through. Grace and Amanda today, and I've got a, a studio guest here, Jammers. He's an uh, author extraordinaire, and, and he also does his own radio program. And, and uh, he takes things from a totally, completely diff- different angle altogether. Starting to sound like my mother now, you know. Totally different angle. <laughs> totally different angle here. Right, but if you want to get involved in in, in the conversation, the number is zero seven three seven five seven five two two seven one. This is Slam Radio dot. UK. I'm sure it's the biggest and the best. So get listening. Get your hand on the pulses. 07375 Join the conversation. Yes, Thomas has got his Bible uh, uh, um, ready to get the quote for Revelation. Uh, I'm not quite sure whether he secretly has a church or not, but <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he's got the Bible. But Looking at, at, at some of the the, the benefits uh, um, in terms of the uh, the uh, the positive things, uh, some of the things that that, that we've mentioned. Uh, let's recap them again. They said it brings people together in the community. It allows people to share some kind of a common goal, some sort of affinity. It gives them a sense of purpose. You know, it is meant to give you hope when everything seems hopeless, isn't it not? That, yes, that, right. that, that um, kind of thing. The key of the element, it's like, it's, it's, it's a motivational tool. Can it be used as a, mo- It is a yes, motivational tool. tool. This yes. is, it's a motivational tool. Right. It can help you know, if you're a drug, drug addict, blah, blah, blah. It, it can galvanize you. If you're in a desperate you, situation. Yeah, yeah, yep. a desperate mm-hmm. situation. Right. It can galvanize you to pr- pr- improve yourself as a human being. So it yes. gives you some guidelines on right. how you can uh, improve you know, right. and, and motivate yourself. Right. Yes. So it isn't, it isn't that all lost on us that it has, if, if it is applied in, in the right way, that it can be of it can be used as a motivating factor. Yeah. My minus the um the pastors, the, the charismatic pastors taking all the the members' money. The minus that bit. It, it can be used and it's free. It can well free ish. <laughs> lucky you're not a buy shop we get you to you know how to court you to court on that word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said free ish. Yeah. You know, we can yeah. pretty much um, play, around, play, around, play around with terms this morning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, but yes, um, in that sense. But because you're saying that, looking at the, the point of it, and, and I just want to, rather than the the, the few minor benefits uh, that it might bring from a from a personal level, the whole point of it, because you, you mentioned something very serious there when you say that somewhere in Revelation. Let's talk about just 144,000 of the chosen few. So what's the point of me sacrificing my life, going to church, praying to this God uh-huh. and everything, and then I'm told that I'm not chosen. So, so what happens to me? That's right, all your seats so are So why? Been well, accordingly that, that, you know, Jesus died to save the world. Don't know which world, but yes, that, that's, that's what's been said. Um, but yet, if he tried to save the whole world, then to find out that only 144,000 um, is going to be chosen to come to Germany. So what is the point? That's what I'm asking. What's the point of it? Mm, uh, right. Apart from being a motivating factor or, 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 or almost like a counsel to give you that sense of hope, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, yeah. if you only take it to that extent. But to the extent when, when you're talking about being rewarded for a life of sacrifice and mm. worshipping uh, um, the, the sky god, or, or, or the man god, um, you know, uh, to get your benefits. Because Jammers tells me that there's a benefit system there as well. So I don't know what the criteria is to, um, to apply for it. Because what kind of benefits be stopped? 
<laughs> Don't throw that back on me. You, 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 you. I think you'd be good to hear the listeners. Is there, is there a, a listener? This, at this point, as it's about the point of religion, I think you should Absolutely. give out the, the contact. Let point. me give the number again, because uh, Jamal don't seem to be prepared to answer the questions. It's coming up. Yes, yeah, just want to get to the involved, listeners. You're listening to slamradio.co.uk. I'm sure it's the biggest and the best. It's Bud and B. And my true day gets Jammers. We are standing in for Amazing Grace and Amanda. We want you to join in the conversation. Today we are talking religion. What's the point? Of it, um, has it been a, a has it been a negative uh, or a positive effect on the world? You know, what has it done for us lately? What has it done for you lately? Do you think that there's a point to it? I know some might say, "Well, I'm not into religion. I only do God." But can it be a religion? Can it be? Can you do God without being religious? Oh, I'm not into that. Oh, I'm I'm into spirituality. Oh, I don't do that. But can but on, on, they're all connected to some sort of deity or or force, you know. So can we really? you know, argue a way out of it that we don't do religion. Because, oh, I don't do religion, I just do God. I don't do religion, I just do Jesus, you know. What does that mean? C- can you have religion without a deity? S- s- aren't they all interconnected? They say, well, religion is created. Some people would argue God was also created uh, um, by man and not the other way around. You know, so, h- how are we going to take this? You know, can we separate the religion from the God and the God, you know, jabbers? Thank you for being in the hole and putting put, put me in the hole to answer the question. Yes, because right. there are a lot of questions that can be, that yeah. can be answered. Well, I want to just say the second right. two points. So the first point I said is only 144,000 people that can get in. That's the first point. Uh, uh, are you one of them? <laughs> uh, well, I, I feel I'm too far down. Have you, have you done enough? <laughs> what do you need to do to be... Because, yeah. because if you're going to be chosen, there must be uh-huh. a special criteria yeah. that, that makes you one of the 144,000 of the 7 billion people on the planet. Mm-hmm. Well, I would have thought that if it's 144,000, according to the Christian doctrine, then Jesus would have wasted his time, wouldn't he? Well, well the, the biblical, yeah. not the historical Jesus, of course, the, the biblical story. Well, maybe he, did not, he probably rounded up the extra numbers needed to fill the seats. You know, so, yeah, I did, yeah, so. so, but what do you need to do? To, to, cause I, I'm quite interested. If anybody, if they're really a, a religious expert or that, uh, that knows about this, yeah, that's 44, to get, uh, and you know about it, because you know, we, we, we need we some need explanation know, we need, here. We need some explanation because uh, I want to be part of that 144,000. Do you do you want to be part of it? You're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking there. He's like, I, I don't know what I'm signing up for. <laughs> <laughs> and the next, the next, uh, as I said, the next issue I've got right. is basically, okay. um, yeah, it's a belief system yeah belief yeah, right yeah, it's, basically yeah, belief, it's, isn't it? it's basically as i said you turn the other cheek you give away all your possessions and then when you have passed away you will receive the benefits which already you can't get to if you're not one in 144,000 but anyway it has nothing to do with ownership that is the right. problem so for all our energy all our money that we've invested in this right. all our it's not geared towards only any schools any hospitals any community centers any 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 training uh, or psychology uh, fundamental any any it's not it's not related to ownership so when you when it's it's so we've got we've got the, all the energy but the energy is invested in everybody else's things, things. so it, isn't that because you, you you just mentioned a, a very important point in terms of the way that that a lot of uh, our religious leaders uh, because you have now the, 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 this uh, it's not new but you, you, you know you have this what I call a prosperity um, parity, uh, prosperity uh, 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 um, theme now where prosperity and material uh, accumulation now is the you know seems to be the focus of a lot of these what is called charismatic churches mm-hmm. where the reverence in the past is of of you know apart from delivering the gospel or also you know delivering you know uh, uh, messages of wealth accumulation and, and and using the the bible to to justify that that you know you we need to accumulate as much wealth as possible and, and they, they have private jets and you know uh, 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 opulent wealth and things like that well this is the problem see if if the, no, i wouldn't like to say doctrine if but if if if, if it's about giving not having giving away all your possessions right then it's it's more to put your possessions on yourself rather than a community development of a hospital or a right. school you you and you you're geared not to invest in in, in yourself in, in in a community you start to you the other outlet rather than burning it or throwing it up, throwing it into the river is investing the, the wealth on yourself and that 
that's that's quite evident as you quite quite like quality in, in the pastors some of them are the richest people on the planet absolutely you know uh, and they're, they're preaching to the poorest communities on the planet well, that, that, that brings me on to, to the negative sides of it of, of we kind of explore some of the what people see as the positive side and perhaps people want to put the positive in, a, in some you know inverted commas but we leave that uh, um, to, um, to the listening audience some people said it creates conflict uh, you look at look, the conflicts in the world you look at the Middle East you look at globally you look at you know the you, you look at the situation that happened in India between you know, the Buddhists and the Sikhs and then you got Islam and Christianity you got you got, you got in the Middle East and, and you got the Book Haram in Nigeria and so forth and so forth people talk about that it, 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 people disagree you know um, sometimes violently on certain issues in terms of ethics and morality um, People judge people in a very harsh way. People think it creates discrimination. If people are not of one faith for you, you're not of my belief, people get quite emotional and stirred about it. Um, they said it creates a prejudice between people and, and division. Some people think it's absolutely divisive. And and people cannot see beyond like what you said. The word belief is going to come in here. A lot of people cannot see beyond what they were taught to believe. And they will defend that and everybody think that they're right and justified and you have this if there's one you know some purports that that, that the mourner see it's god you know the, the one god system is perhaps the best way to do it believing in in one central god is that is seen as 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 the as the way uh, to do religion also um people of the book that means that you, that you have a set of scriptures uh, as moral moral and ethical guide uh, um apparently and they're called people of the book that that is often this seen. slam radio.co.uk yes we are back uh Grace, amazing Grace and uh, Amanda's show, sure. um, and it's Buzzing B and Chamas um, standing in. Uh, you listen to slamradio.co.uk. We've been having quite a interesting conversation here in, in the studio uh, between Chamas and myself, talking about the um, what's the point um, of religion. Chamas give us a quite a historical uh, um, analysis uh, of the origins of it, and to me, it suggests something very sinister. And, uh, but does it still really represent that? We went through about about some of the the, the benefits uh, of religion. That's uh, you know uh, how it could be. And some of the, at first he kind of um you know you know he, he was laying out the stalls that you know there wasn't any benefit. We shouldn't bother about it because you know it's a con, it's a con from the beginning anyway. What? Yes, it was a con. But then he kind of conceded that that you know perhaps there's some benefits. And he even said, well, I, I, I brought a, um, a handgun to, to to you know to um, a machine gun fight. You know, in in, in in the context of an argument, but Chamas, you've got some more. Um, um before the before you come in there, uh, b- before the, uh, um, the ads um, interjected, and we were looking at some of the because we were talking about the the amount of uh, 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 looking at the the, uh, uh, the financial aspects uh, um, as a negative uh, and the way that that a lot a lot, a lot of we religious uh, people now are, um <coughs> um protects and promotes the, the you know uh, religion uh, uh, as a way to to accumulate loads of wealth and they preach uh, a prosperity uh, message but is there something necessarily wrong with that uh, um, and, and we, we were you know we were looking at um, you know uh, before we interject, you're looking at that it creates conflict. People disagree on issues, prejudice, uh, war, and um, you know, and, and, and you know, before the break, it, it, I was talking about you know how people don't look beyond what uh, they believe. Quite often, they're not prepared to question. Uh, they're not prepared to question what uh, what they believe, and and these are one of the, some of the the negative uh, uh, things you could say that people see uh, as being wrong with religion, and and it's a cause of conflict everywhere in the world, and people get get quite. Um, 
people get quite uh, worked up about it, Chambers. So you've got some more uh, 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 references in there for Chambers. What's your response in terms of the, before you get into your uh, um, your evidence base? Because Chambers doesn't say anything unlike me. He likes to have his references. Most of the time, I'm just talking off my head. <laughs> but Chambers <laughs> lo love to substantiate his facts, and I think it is it's the correct thing to do. But what is your thing on that in terms of the, cause quite often you can point to a thousand uh, um, negative things in terms of what's wrong with religion. Well, I said, it's, it, I'm, I'm trying to display today, it's not my opinion of belief or bias, right. it's a, the science of interpretation, which, which is hermeneutics. It's basically, I'm looking at the facts and evidence, so it's not my personal viewpoint. And I'm taking from uh, the strong concordance of the Bible, where it's got every single word. So based on yeah. the, the point that you raised about, yeah, everybody, there seems to be a lot of bickering and yeah. everybody's on. That's because they're not practicing the science of interpretation. Right. The John's, the Strong's concordance, so the concordance means one a common understanding. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you know the Greek, the Hebrew, and the English definition of the word, you can come to a, a, a logical, rational. Uh, scientific and divine interpretation of the scripture so everybody comes from the same reference point right but mm. because they're not practicing yes. hermeneutics people are coming up with their own ideas their own biases their own definitions version which a version means you've made up a story that's not the original it's right. not a duplicate or a copy it's a version a version means you've made up your own yes your copy own, that yes. Applies to. so basically yeah. this is where all the confusion is coming from because they're not interpreting the correct the Scripture, which mm. is supposed to be divine, right. in, we're using the divine method of interpretation. Right, and and, and that creates a confusion. And this is why the confusion is self-evident. Right, and you've got some references there for yeah, us? Yeah, well, as I said, one of the key, we said the positive part is the, the community spirit, the motivation, right. mm -hmm. but the problem is it is a belief system. Let's look at the word belief using Strong's Concordance of the Bible and using the Bible itself. Right. So if you've got your Bible, well, uh, Reverend Jammers. <laughs> did, did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> reference. Reference. <laughs> reference, yes. Reference Jammers is referencing. Um, stand corrected. Just a bit of a Jammers as you flicker through. Have you got the. Yeah, could you just say, uh, I've just lost my place because I'm not well practitioner. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, yeah, because, yeah. yeah well, page finding. All right, yeah, yes. Right. right, so if those of you who've got your Bible, if you can turn to Exodus 4. Verse 1. Exodus first, uh, we're discussing the word belief. Right. Exodus 4, verse, sorry, Exodus 4, verse 1. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they do not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. So once again, we're going to use the word belief, and I'm, as I said, it's not my biased opinion. We're using it from the Bible, Strong's coordinates of the Bible. Mm. And I'm reading the word, I'm taking from the Bible. It's, if you've got Bibles, Exodus 4, verse 1. I'll read it again. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they do not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will not say, the Lord have not appeared unto thee. So once again, that was Exodus 4 verse 1. And right, so now the word belief, if we look at what belief means in the Hebrew language, which is around the language where the Bible was written, mm -hmm. the, co the concordance, if you've got the concordance, it's uh, 539. So the concordance is 539 for the word belief in Hebrew. Yes, so you just read it for Jamal's did. Right, the word belief in Hebrew is a man. A man. And what do you call yourself? A man. It may, the root means to build up or support, to foster, parent or nurse, to render firm or faithful, to trust. It doesn't say the word truth in that statement. So in Hebrew, the word believe is a man. And it's concordance 539. It means to build up, support, foster, parent, nurse, faithful, or to trust. Mm -hmm. So this is what the word believe means in Hebrew. To build up, support. Right. Let's go right. to, and it's called a man, funny right. enough. Okay. And we call ourselves a man. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Greek, and then I'll end it there. The Greek, once again, concordance 539. We're discussing the word belief, and we're looking what the word 
belief means in Hebrew. The word belief means in Hebrew is a a. I'm not Greek, so I might not get it. It says apate. It's called Ordinance 539. In Hebrew, the word Greek, it means a man in Hebrew, and in Greek, it means apate. Apate. And it, and it means. It's from the it's from from apatar oh ap let's use it which is concordance five three eight so the word belief in Greek means it's called apatar and it means to cheat delude or deceive this is what right. the word in Greek right. means it means apatar oh apatar ap at r o Mm -hmm. Apatao Concordance 539 from the John's Concordance of the Bible. The word belief means to cheat, delude, or deceive. I rest my case. Absolutely. I mean, Jammer just put it quite clearly there. Anybody who wants to, to add or even challenge his position based on if you've got, we might have some scholars out there, uh, might, might be ready to shoot you down in flame. So uh, if you want to, to join the conversation this evening, um, the number is 07375 7522- Seven one. Are you in agreement with Jammers? Is he talking absolute totters? Has he proven his point? You can call the studio and challenge that position. Zero seven three seven five seven five two two seven one. I mean, he walks in the studio with all these books, concordance, recordance, and all different sorts of books. Does it mean anything? Have you? Have can you shoot down his argument? What he's just said. Belief. Is, is just a matter of trust. It's a man. You don't. So, in belief, are you saying that in belief that there's an element of doubt? So, well, is that what you're saying? To have a belief, the, 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 the first requirement is you can't have any evidence. You can't have any facts. You don't need facts. You can't. You can't to believe something, you can't have no evidence. Just based on trust. It has to be. It right. has to be. Because if, if a fact or evidence comes into the equation, it's no longer a belief. It's yeah, a reality. Well, I think we've got a caller here this evening. Hello, good evening. Turn up, turn up. From, Africa. from Africon. Africa. From I can't hear you properly. Africa. From can you say that again, please. It's Africa, but that looks today, and you can call it out the head. I. Say that again, sorry. He said that again, sorry. Afrihistorical. Afrihistorical. Oh, oh, oh Afri Afrihistorical. Yeah. Good. Got it now. Got it now. Hey, Celine. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? You, 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 yes. I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm sure you've been listening to to, to the uh, 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 conversation in the studio uh, with Jammers, you know, um, being challenged at, at every turn. I don't know what, what he know what he's talking about. But uh, do you want to? What do you want to? What's your position on on the topic this evening that we're having here about the point of religion? Um, is there a um, has it been a force for good in terms of the negative and the positive effects on the world? What's your position on that, um, Celine? Okay, um, in the short term, there are two aspects. So, in the short term, um, yes, it has had some benefit. In other words, you know, when you're going through a crisis or something is happening that's challenging your mind, um, and you're walking, people tend to follow the Bible or religion uh, to make themselves feel better. So right. It's a form sort of um, short term relief. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in the term, you know, um, it's extremely, it has actually been extremely detrimental to uh, black people in particular. Um, and there are a number of. Uh, I can, uh, sorry, I can hit in a voice, so it's putting me off. Okay, so I don't know if you can cut the feedback, I'm not sure. Yeah, we, we're... The engine is working on it. The engine is working on it, so j j j just give us a, a, a little uh, chance there. We, we, we're we going to be working on that in a minute, because, yeah, we're going to work that out. But, but, but based on, uh, obviously, uh, what you've said in, in terms of the... You mentioned the word uh, that it has a negative uh, 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 effect on black people in particular, but yet still we seems to be the most... Uh, that seems more um, um, adhere uh, um, to religion and seems much more attached to it perhaps than anybody else. Is that a fair comment? Yes, it is. And there's a reason for that. And um, 
uh, part of the reason for that is that the way that Africans were indoctrinated into Christian unity um, in the early and early 20th centuries. Across the early and early 20th centuries, uh, most Africans were still African spiritualists, so they weren't um, Christian um, or some sort of Muslim in, in the North, um, North West. And, um, of Africa was traditional African, except for the regions around the coast. And so yeah. by the time Christianity, uh, or the white man, uh, had defended Tenet Billing, he was able then to go into the interior of Africa. And it was then that the missionaries started to flood into Africa with their um, uh, plan, to exercise their plan. They held a conference, in fact, on how they would be able to mm. Uh, manage such a large um, resource, a large uh, area. And I, I believe that they drew from the um, indoctrination of people in America mm -hmm. that took place in the 19th century. Yeah. Yeah, in the 19th century, mid to late 19th century. Mm -hmm. um, they, they learned from that experience and fine tuned it. Um, and uh, implemented it in Africa. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. what they did is, uh, after 200 years of slavery, and um, we hadn't even started colonization, you know, most Africans at that stage were on their knees in starving today. But, you know, we're coming up with a background of pain uh, for 200 years. Yeah. And so then, uh, the missionaries or the group of Europeans collectively spent a lot of money and underwent um, a number of fundraising um, exercises to pay for um, the church to be built, the roads to be built, the hospitals to be built, the you know, schools. And so the, nothing, the missionaries, the ones of the priests, flooded into Africa. And you can just imagine the sort of bedazzles mm. the people mm. uh, were looking at these Europeans busying themselves building roads and uh, schools and, and, and hospitals. Mind you, they only did that once. We need to remember that. Mm. They were doing it for a, a reason. Right. You know, so, um, uh, you know, they the knew um, because despite uh, the the position that Africans were in, despite being on our knees at that stage, mm. um, the, the, the elders never converted to Christianity. Most of them didn't. Only, you know, the weak ones or the ones that they bought it from the coast that were already, you know, Christianized by a few generations. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. And um, uh, they bought the type of black people with them, uh, you know, the half Negroes. Yeah. And, um, you know, they uh, elevated that person while the rest of the Africans were known to be in poverty. Mm, yeah, yeah. But Selena, so, you... so they took the children, mm -hmm. they took the children and into the school, and at the age of four or years old, they wanted to indoctrinate these Africans. Yeah. And um, that's why today, you know, Africans have. You know, is the most Yeah. 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 Selena, you, you've painted quite a, a good historical uh, and a sort of picture there uh, as to why uh, a lot of African and Black people are still so much um, attached to religion in a very intense and deep way. Because uh, I just want to get you in because I know that you've got an event coming up as well. And I just want to talk about that because we, 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 we're going to go for the break. I, I think we're probably in about 10 minutes or so. So I just wanted to, to, to get you in there b b before the, the, the ad breaks uh, um, come in. And can you tell us about, about this particular event uh, uh, and what it's all about? Yeah, sure. It's um, what happened to the 90 years of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the uh, of the black room. Okay. So, um, you know, have you ever wondered why black people always fit the same chapter from their in the Bible? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not by accident, it's by design. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's at the moment of Mark Centra, 
on uh, the 10th of December, Sunday the 10th of December at 4 o'clock to 7 p.m. Um, there's refreshments there on the night. Yes. Um, I just look at the mobile phone app called the Mojax. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a loyalty scheme on there, so if you download them to the Mojax, you can request the event you earn 100 monthly points for mm -hmm. attending. And um, yes, yeah, the next day is going to be about a red trial called Fox Zone. Right, okay. How he finds you, the system of making Negroes Christian. Right. And, and when does this event take place in where? It's uh, at the Mahat Centre. Mm -hmm. It's a high road, Tottenham, London, N17, 9HQ. Right. Okay. And it's a uh, plus booking fee or more on the door. It's, um, we're basically going to see a 180 year old instruction to enslave Africans mm. and left a permanent mark on right. black house people. Right. And when, and when is this event taking place, um, Celine? Uh, 10th, next Sunday. It's the 10th, 10th of December, next Sunday. Uh, yes. and, and what time does it start? Uh, 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock? Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So, just give a, uh, the listeners a, a just a brief summary, uh, a, a synopsis about the event. Uh, you know, just tie everything together. Okay. So, basically, I'm going to review um, a book called "How to Make a Negro Christian," and the, um, I'm going to do a presentation on the 180 year old instruction to enslaved Africans that has left a permanent mark on the of black people who are sick today. I'm talking about Reverend Charles Popoff Jones and how he analysed how other people were giving the gospel to black people. Mm -hmm. The fine tuner system would give us Christians, uh, Negro Christians, but uh, Negro Christians that weren't going to turn around and demand their freedom. Right. Or mm -hmm. will turn around and, you know, demand justice for their race and their murder. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Um, that's, uh, that's going to be the, the basic of the event. Right. No, Kido. Um, actually, I just didn't put my time about the Hamilton um, point that the brother raised. Okay, um, yes, yeah, go, go right ahead. Okay. Go right ahead. Okay, uh, yeah, because uh, um, there's a one book called the. Uh, is actually from Egypt, from ancient Timor. And um, uh, it, it, I'm just going to write the book very quickly. Um, the son of Hermes was venerated as a great mythical teacher um, in the ancient world and was rediscovered by some of the finest minds of the Renaissance. Mm. The right the picture of Islam are a tough capsule of Egypt and Greece, esoteric philosophy and had speakers, including Slate, Newton, uh, Lydia Pazina, Hogan Street, Sidney Blah, Blah, Blah. Uh, here, uh, here in this book is uh, acceptable to some testament of the mythical philosophy of the legacy stage god Hermes. Uh, let me just try and say that again. For first, uh, it keeps, it keeps cutting it. Greatest Hermes, oh, no. because Hermes was an African character. Okay, cool, um, cool, cool, cool. A combination of the Egyptian past yeah. and the Greek Hermes. Yeah, I see, yeah. So Perfect. the whole Hermes character basically is a fascinating introduction into the intersection of the and Hellenic cultures. Yes. And so, the magic and religious ideas is the yeah. well. So basically, you know, when people talk about Hermetica, um, uh, a lot of people are not clear about what it is. Mm. And they don't realise there's a direct connection to ancient planets. Yep. Like the brother was saying, it's mm -hmm. of the original belief system. Yeah, so yeah, Celine it, it, it is tethering quite close to the half an hour. I think Jamus, do you do you, do you want to come back there um, to Celine? Yeah, I, I, thanks for bringing, thanks for uh, reminding me of that fact. Yeah, that the, the, the hermeneutics is comes from Hermes, but actually does come from an, uh, uh, Thoth, which comes for from uh, Imhotep. 
No. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, so basically, yeah. So basically, the science of interpretation came from, from a comedic African perspective, and, and they've put their own ingredient, which is cunning, invention, and deceit into the equation. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Selena. I just just want to thank you for your contribution here today on an Amanda and Gracie Show. Um, by Zimbi standing in. Just want to thank you uh, for your contribution here this evening and um, this afternoon, and wish and just wish you the best of success um, with your event next Sunday. Thank you. Thank you very much, Celine. Yes, that was Celine sharing her thoughts with us yeah. and also the event. Thank you, Celine. So, like an interesting yeah. event. Yeah, good. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Um, um, we're tittering close towards the thing. What do you want to say? Two just, minutes. Well, briefly, I just I said I wanted to, I was displaying hermeneutics earlier. I read out the, um, a quote from the Bible, which is um, Exodus chapter 4, verse 1. And it, so it says, And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me nor hearken unto my voice for they say the Lord have not appeared unto me so by interpretation the word believe means they will not deceive me right. so let me put the correct word in the Bible now I'm showing right. you what, how the so Moses answered and said but behold they will not deceive me nor hearken unto my voice for they will say the Lord have not appeared unto thee so believe means to deceive it's it's the Greek word for deceive wow. it's the Hebrew word called a man that's why they call you a man and it means not facts or evidence to build up support trust to foster as a parent or nurse to render firm or faithful the word truth does not apply to the word believes so i'm just sticking on that word and their argument is crushed Wow, yeah, you you got it, dear listeners. Absolutely crushed. If you want to challenge Germans and that, he think he's crushed you. He's give you irrefutable facts as far as he's concerned. Uh, so if you believe, uh, you've been you've been conned uh, uh, um, because you th- there was no you don't need evidence uh, uh, to do that. It's That's right. If you believe you're right, then you've deceived yourself because the word o- already is deceived. You're already you're defeated you're, already. You defeated yourself already. So you don't it. believe anything. Just by believing you're right, you've you already deceived yourself. So you're not right at all. <laughs> so self deception. Just like you buy a car on belief, you're going to crash that car. Too. It's on slamradio.co.uk and 93FM in London. Yes, yes, so uh, welcome back to the Quesh and Amanda show. Um, we, um, we, yes, we are, yes, we are back um, here. We just want to thank you. We've been really been, been getting heat up. Before that, we have, we had Celine on the line, giving her views on it. And uh, and she's got a wonderful event coming up next Sunday. Uh, we've got Jammers there, you know, just trying to get settled. He seems to be unnerved by the whole <laughs> um, uh, debate and the discussion uh, that, uh, that we were having. Uh, very interesting, uh, uh, Jammers, uh, uh, some, you know, some of the, you know, uh, um, views that, uh, 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 that was expressed there. Uh, have you got any security protection for me when I leave this? Well, place? yeah, we, we've, we've, we have already hired some some, some, uh, some security there, and, we, and you, you don't have to worry about it. Um, top of the line, uh, uh, from, 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 from 4QS, uh, was that the security firm? <laughs> yes, our G4, or you got GQS, the, uh, the security firm. So, yeah, so you, you listen to Slam Radio. Uh, .co.uk and Grace and uh, and Grace and, and Amanda show, uh, but today we uh, um, Buzz and B uh, covering for Grace, um, amazing Grace I should say, uh, and Amanda and uh, and Jamus uh, who is my guest today uh, and Grace uh, and amazing Grace and Amanda they they're, they're listening they're locked on in Freetown Sierra Leone, uh, um, you know enjoying all the nice food and the weather and the warm people. Yes, and we're stuck here in coal London in the UK. So, yeah, uh, just to say, uh, yes, um, greetings to, to Grace and Amanda, uh, um, amazing Grace and Amanda. Um, they're in Freetown, who listening there in Sierra Leone. But we're gonna, we haven't got a lot of time left. Uh, time is, flies really quickly. Uh, they say when you're having fun or perhaps when you're not having so much fun right now Chama is making it easy for me right now uh, in the studio and we we're gonna get on to we, we want to uh, uh, get on to our next topics we haven't got a lot of time left but we're gonna give it a go and our next topic is the male perspective 
Women set the bar of expectations too high in relationships. To what extent do you agree? Because this question kind of a come, came up from the last, the show I did last Sunday, and, and that was one of the questions posed. So I haven't spoken to a lot of my friends and bedrins and things like that, and a lot, lot of my you say bed friends. friends. Or bedrins. Bedrins. Or bedrins, I'm saying. Not my bedrins. They, they came to the conclusion, a lot of them did, and I said, I will pose that as a question today, or as a statement. The male perspective, I call it. Women set the bar of expectations too high in a relationship. To what extent do you agree? And I'm posing that to Jammers first. If you want to join the conversation, Jammers, before you come in, the listeners, the number is 07375-752-271. What say you, Jammers? My voice is still framed from that reading out that sermon earlier. Do women set the bar too high well, in relationships? It's season? another trick. As in religion, <laughs> it's based on a belief system. As we've ascertained... Be- the Greek word for belief is to deceive. So, f- as soon as the word romance comes out of a lady's mouth or love comes out of a, of a lady's mouth, it's based on the belief system that's been instilled through the fairy, fantasy, uh, romantic, deluded films, the, the songs, the talk shows of unattainable heights that the male is expected to reach because religion and romance comes from what they used to do in the nights used to tell tales remember tales not truth of uh, stories of knights in shining armor rescuing the, the damsel, damsel in, in distress, distress. The fighting the great dragons mm, so it's yeah. a fantasy that's been told what we are trying to make a reality of so of course it's an unattainable height that the women are trying to get the men to attain to co- it's based on belief and fantasy. So is that the reason why that, because you think it's unattainable uh, and it's based in fairy tale, so it's quite unattainable. But a lot of women do believe that. And that's the problem with this belief system because belief means it's de- it's, they're deceiving themselves to this ideology of a fantasy and when reality kicks in it kicks pretty hard it does so you think that women have got it wrong in that sense and, and that they shouldn't believe in all these these fanciful stories based in mythology well it's not easy i'm not blaming because basically they've been bombarded this is this is an all part of a plan to bombard which goes back to the, the controlling of the male and female and, 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 and uh, essence right so they've been bombarded with this delusion and and while the male have been has been bombarded body with the image of being this superhero person who can fight against all odds to attain um, his uh, damsel or, his, or his, his, his princess, you know what I mean? So, so we've both been deluded to playing out this fantasy, you know, this delusion, you right. know, uh, which, which is nothing to do with our ancient spiritual values of ancient Kemet. Right. And this is the problem. So this is a problem, a perpetuating process of problem that the, the, the male now is become the female is becoming more of the male more aggressive right more more attaining a man and a, and a man because he's been denied opportunity is becoming more, more passive more, more effem- emotional more effeminate well but some people might call that uh, some people might call that equality <laughs> <laughs> equal to what though equal to confusion equal to um, not attaining a unity e- equal to being single so you equal you, to being single right so you believe in, in the male ha- having a specific role so, so in the context of where we are and our historical development and what does equality in the Western context uh, um, mean for African men, black men? Well, what does that mean? See, because our nature is different from their nature. Right. So basically, we, we need balance. We need harm. We work off balance, harmony, and rhythm. Right. And we have to have a balance of both energies to function. This is our right. this is our cosmolo- cosmology. Right. This is our psychology. Right. This mm-hmm. is our physiology. Uh-huh. This 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 is this is how we are. Mm. As a, this is our makeup. We're melanated people. We are right. people of harmony, of balance. Mm. You know, and they they are people of scarcity so they they can function in a singular aspect right yeah 
Right. So, so again, uh, the question um, still remains because oh, obviously, right. you, because you, you mentioned that you know it, it is obviously based on you know you know uh, um, stories of the knights in shining armor, and, and, and that's what then that's pretty much has been the story of romance mm-hmm. uh, uh, and, and men there to to, to serve at the behest. Of women and, and if not pleasing them, that's in, right. In, so that's that's that, that's a scenario that's been set up, right? But the, but what, so what they do to counter the scenario is is, is set up a, a reality that the black man is denied right. the opportunity to get the wealth or get the knowledge or get the ability to achieve the level that's given to the woman in the fantasy. So right. this causes a breakdown in in, in the relationship. So the woman is given as you you saying socially. I mean, a lot of black women might argue with that, but you're saying that in Western society, women have been given the, 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 the social and economic edge over men. Is, is that what you're saying? That's, that's correct. If you look uh, at, uh, at yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. if you look at even just look at the media images, but well, that we produce, like the Evening Standard, you know, you'll you'll not see a black male or a black couple anywhere unless it's crime, uh, acting, or sport. For the most part, yes. That's also true. And most part, meaning 99.9%. Right. Yeah. So, 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 they're, so they're giving us, so as I said, they're perpetuating this image mm. for us to follow. And this is now, you, you, this is where the, 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 the black woman now, from a position of where she was in the virtual serv, ser, servitude. Ser, servitude, that's right now, mm. she's becoming in a position of dominance. Right. So over, over the meal. Over the meal. So basically, she was at, in servitude, she was under the meal. She was still alone. She still she didn't have still the proper meal. In the meal still, yes, tra- didn't yeah. have the meal. Uh, Communication, right. relationship, because relationship right. is communicate. Didn't have a because she was treated docile, treated as the, the lower. Yeah. Now she's up, up in in the stratosphere. She's still got that problem of relationship because now the male is in, in it has been re- he's been reduced. Yes. So, so so this is where we're keeping that dis- disparity because if you want to eliminate um, without force, you know, right. uh, a species, you know, you have to stop um, the mating. You have to stop the communication between the male and the right. female. So you can you can slowly eliminate that that species from the planet. You know, uh, a nice clean elimination from the so planet. So it's social engineering in yes. a way. Yeah. But quite often the, that doesn't seem to come into the conversation when you are having these conversations in a very real way in the context of a real relationship. People don't seem to want to look at the historical and the sociological effects and how we got in the first place. People look at situations through their own immediate experience and, and emotional experience. And they don't bother to, to analyze all of this because they're feeling pain and they're not getting what they're not getting, and they, they tend to look at it through that because they and, and they're very experienced. It's what they, they which is real. They taught us in school. They teach us yeah. maths. They teach us history. They teach us biology. They mm-hmm. teach us science. They don't teach us the science of relationship. They don't teach us the science of communication. They don't teach. Can us it be taught? Just, Can it be taught? Sorry. Can it be taught the science of relationship? Of course. This was, if you look, if you go back in ancient civilization, if you go back to Eton, right. just go to Eton or this is what they classical of philosophy. This is this is this the classical arts. This is the arts of the thinking, of rationality, of logic, of, of even communication. Because the ba- the basic breakdown in the way in the male female relationship, and even in the male male and the female female relationship, is the science of communication. Right. You know, we've not been shown how to communicate mm-hmm. in a way that is constructive, because it's detrimental to the person who is in power mm-hmm. to have the serv- servants or the people under them to be able to empower themselves to such a level where they're now in power over the person who was in power. So we are now running off emotion. That's what it is. It's, it's emotion because we do have the frustration and anxiety. This is what's fueling how we respond and reaction because right. we have not, we've been denied uh, the, the ability to be able to have this right. knowledge. To so, so both the male need to revisit this question as well as the because you're saying that, that, that obviously it's been a a, 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 a fairy tale story that, that have been sold particularly to, to black women here in the west uh, and they're buying into that kind of an idea of what a relationship built around romance and rom- romanticism and all of that uh, but pretty much so the, 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 men, the men are just as culpable because they themselves bought, bought into the bought into the story it's, it's them, it's they're two, bought into the, the mythology it's themselves two ways. it's a tackle right. on both both and the problem is as well the plants in the media you know because basically as a child you follow what you see in front of your face if your father or your mother's not present and so the media images that are given like the role models that they're given in the media Mm. and the most destructive to the family element okay yeah, but where does this leave us now? Uh, um, now you've put it so eloquently in terms of th- th- that we're operating from the wrong premise in the first place. So we're always going to get it wrong. 
Well, that's what I'm posing to you. Where does it lead us? Yeah. Well, I mean, would it leave us in terms of obviously because because at first you, you seem to be tilting. Oh, I, t- I shall tell you where it leads us. Where does it leads us? Yeah. It leads us to religion. It leads us to religion. <laughs> so, so, it's a <laughs> so, so, so <laughs> I mean, as you as you as you pointed out earlier on, you said that there's some there's some connection there because you you've got the 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 the, 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 the belief system in religion you've, you've got the allegory the stories uh, that being fed you got you got the mythology and all of that is tied up in romance is romance is another myth yeah. another mythology mythological story and stuff so i can see the interconnection there but i mean where it leads us in terms of of responding to to the real issue that confronts us when it comes to to to, to relationships and expectation are there are there are these personal expectations or all these expectation what what are some of these expectations are, are, are all these expectations shaped by the, by the very thing you said uh, about what about what uh, um, engenders the, the 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 idea about about romance and, uh, and what makes a relationship, particularly materially uh, and also psychologically and emotionally. Well, I think actually what's happening as we speak, there's, right. a, there's a new neo-conscious movement that's taking place now, where we are even while we even while we're able to have these discussions right. that we're having today, mm. is that now we are starting. This is the time of enlightenment where right. we are now starting to wake up and realize and reflect and analyze what our our forefathers appearance have been forced to use, to use. Been, they didn't have no time to analyze or reflect or look but these were the devices they were forced to use faulty tools to get anywhere and if right. you look at the word tool backwards you see loot but that's right. another story right. so we this is a neo uh, consciousness now where we're able to reflect and the next generation Should. will be able to apply what we've reflected on yeah. on yeah. yeah a case of reflection here so when well, you listen to samradio.co.uk uh, amazing grace and amanda show and this is buzzing the Standing in for these two amazing dynamic ladies. I'm not quite sure whether we do know. So who am I representing then? Well, yourself. Oh, okay. Thank goodness for that. Your guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you should um, appreciate the privilege <laughs> of being uh, uh, on uh, and on these two dynamic ladies, um, Amazing Grace and Amanda. I'm not quite sure whether I'm making a hash of it or whether I'm doing a good job or, or not. But yeah, but we, today we, we we are talking about uh, uh, the male perspective uh, that, that women uh, uh, set the, ex- the bar of expectations too high, and to what extent do you agree? But Jamal put it in a total different perspective and say perhaps it challenges the, the very um, essence of the question um, if not if not undermining the entire question in itself by saying we are buying into a false uh, 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 premise in the first place uh, um, in terms of the mythology that's been sold uh, around romanticism and, and, and mythology and mysticism and all that kind of thing so we are on kind of on, on kind of a shady ground so it's almost like a Trojan horse in a way uh, where it, it's never going to it's never going to work Mm-hmm. Uh, um, um, in that respect. So if you want to join the conversation, if you disagree with anything you, you've heard in the studio today, or, or you want to have your two pennies worth, well, uh, in that case, five pounds worth, um, you can call the studio 07375 752 271. You're listening to slamradio.co.uk, the biggest and the best. I uh, just want to thank our global and international audience chairmans. It's nice to say, uh, yeah. Is it, how long have we got left? Yes. Well, we've got uh, about uh, about fifteen minutes or so left, so we can still uh, 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 say a lot. Of you, you know, I, I know you want to go on forever, but it's it's not one of those shows. Well, there's, not, there's another element in this as well, like the way forward. Is like if you look at J. A. Rogers, you know, um, his great his story. They looked at um, how the races uh, move through the time and what is nature sometimes take its course, yeah. and you'll see like the black male with the female, the white male and the uh, no, the black male with the, the white female mm-hmm. and the white female with the black male. Right. Uh, and what will happen is more melanin will come into the species one way or the other. But melanating the, the world. Yeah, melanating the world. So they become a melanated people <laughs> one way or the other through its natural course. You know, so that's the other aspect. If you right. look through the, the, how the na- nations come together, right. and another well, another thing. If you look at our youth nowadays, a lot of them haven't got the cultural basis. Which, funny enough, uh, religion did give us. It did give us a, cultu- a cultural basis in a certain level. Do you want to explore that a little quickly before you? Mm, I might be shooting myself in the foot in a right. certain way. Could, could you, well, you, yeah. No, 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 well, well you made this it, bold statement it, about it, religion it, and yeah, no, no, no it, did, it did give us a cultural basis where you know, it, uh, not necessarily definitively calling ourselves African, but 
back home. But living as a, as a family, it, it did have a family unit. But then we had that before. I mean, in a family. Yes, but I'm saying from the, the slave, from take, being coming of as, as a slave and being thrown into, say, another civilization with nothing, we are able to scramble different elements together to create a family unit and a sense of purpose. To, to, survive, of to, to survive. But I'm saying what's happened now right. is... It's, 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 a, it's a I don't there's not even a, I don't even know the word for it because there's not the religious holding in a certain way and it's like there's not there's a nothingness at the moment mm. it's in a state of nothingness the younger generation are now not moving to culturally based relationships they're moving right. to what the society what the TV is being yeah. and then that's another thing as well because in the past the man and the woman kind of had to be together right due to the circumstances that they were in in economics, yeah, economics. So it, was u- it was more yeah. like a unit yeah so it's yeah. kind of enforced and unity family. yeah in right. a certain way yeah, and now there's a level of freedom it's like there's a disparity right. in everything right. Right. So. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah no, no sense of so the value system has shifted quite different and, 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 and I think I can argue perhaps the, the relationships of the younger generation is a far cry and pretty much different and, and perhaps yeah. their expectations or, or perhaps hmm. are, are probably a little, a little different. Um, the whole, I think the whole of it's changed now. It's more like a shopping. It's more like an accessory. It's not really a relationship. It's more like your your latest pair of shoes or what's in fashion. You know, it's no longer this. Especially with the internet, that's another element. The social media right. hmm. element. Now, there's not. It's not about communicating on a on a spiritual or level. Like like no, it's just an assess a visual accessory, an appearance, and a visual accessory. It's hence, uh, having a partner who's a peer, who who an appearance is. To be means a, a position the real that's thing. higher, exactly. a high. So look, having something that looks enough. But and most of the relationship based on what the person's wearing, how much plastic surgery they've had, you right. know, and the amount of wealth they've got hanging around their neck, you know, and how much intoxication or narcotics you've consumed at the time. This right. is when the relationship takes place. Right. right. And and that, that that so I'm supposed that that it through the whole it throws the whole argument of expectations. Uh, 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 on the whole argument and, and the funny thing is it. like women are expert in psychology behavior they're the they original nurse, they're originators of originators that, they nurse the, the nurture the, the male absolutely you know they, they've got the talk shows they've got the body language experts but then they go and pick the worst man in the whole club standing well, in the why club why does that always based happen based on his haircut and, 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 and the piece <laughs> and of metal and, that and, that and the man that's the man that's coming with and the man that's coming with um, subs- a man of subsequence <laughs> Is normally left by the wayside, yeah. and of course, uh, because that we're, we're also visual human beings, uh, that seems to, to to take resonance over over everything else. Yeah. Because obviously, you can't see subsequent, you, you can't see whether a person have got substance. Uh, uh, it's not something that you can see. Yeah. You know, it's something that has to be acted out, and, and obviously, you have to be with that person, you have to engage in that person. But because it's such a visual society now, yeah. uh, a lot of relationship, it, it, you know, initially. And I, I'm not going to say I didn't do it. Yeah, based on on what you can see, visual. You know, cause a lot of men we're visual creatures, aren't we? We That's see it. nicely formed figure. We thinking, oh, she looks nice. Blah blah. But it's uh, got nothing uh, to do with the. What comes up at the other end? As brother Dougie quite rightly says, it's like it's like a, it's like we're crash victims. Like we're in a dance, and it's, a, it's who you've collided with in the dance. And uh, we, we, so, you find you said, family, yeah. so you're saying that our relationships are accident waiting to happen? Yeah. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't vote, listeners. That doesn't avoid very well um, for the future. You know, <laughs> when, you, when you see how your family that you've got around you have been generated, you know, you, you, it's been created in a dark situation, loud music, under intoxication. You've bumped into to someone and next thing you've got a family with so you said it goes in the DNA you said it's passed on in the DNA you know no, I wouldn't say it's just a situation that we've been in in them times you know? right but well, in the dark yeah in, 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 Shabins in, and things in, like that intoxicated that? and then you're wondering why the relationship breaks up when you know you're never going to select a car like that you're never going to select your clothes like that you know but you're the person who you want to you spend your life with there's no interview you know there's nothing there's, what you there's, like there's, 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 no yeah. his, there's no relationship history you know there's no questionnaire you and know, the family, um, am I, family am I getting into the right family? Blood like type, that. shoe size, everything. You, you know, criminal record, none of that's taken into account. Well, account. what have that got to do with it? Come on. <laughs> 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 no, that's, that's, that's discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> no, that we, shows a good experience. We're for equal got, opportunities got, on this show. Criminal People. record, that shows you've got experience, you can survive in a confined environment. You make the ideal hustle. Oh, so you're using it in, in a positive
positive yes. uh, um, <laughs> light here. You know, the, it's, it's the one who ain't got a criminal record. Are you going to hold that against? Come on, no stereotyping. It's, just, it's the one who ain't got a criminal record you've got to worry about. You've got to wonder what is he hiding. Well, are you suggesting that, that we can be only thing with criminal records? You know what I mean? You were just accusing the mainstream media of, of, of stereotyping us 90-90%. You seem to be doing the same, Jammers. <laughs> well, the thing is, we, uh, we, we, are, we like to listen to all types of stereo. So we are the stereotype that everybody follows. Right. Well, 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 I suppose that's a pretty good comeback there. Uh, <laughs> pretty much lost for words for, for a few minutes. You know, I'm not pissed to think. Yeah, but g g getting back on the... Yeah, that's it. Basically, because we're not, we're, we're not being... We're not under condition where we can make rationalised and logical choices. Right. We, the society show, shows us to make emotional and gives us the images to that select. Yeah. But l let's try to wrap up because obviously we, 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 we've got uh, about four minutes left uh, um, to the show, uh, you know, and it's been amazing. Let's go back to, to the... Let's recap the religion one. What's your... You know, has it been... A, force for good uh, religion you know what's the point of it uh, 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 negative and positive effects on the world how has it been what's, what's your, your, your thoughts in terms of the yeah it's a two sided coin it is right. it's, uh, it was originally as I said uh, used to enslave our minds right. we've managed to spiritualise it to make it a motivational force right. but at this present moment in time um, it looks like it's gone back to its original state again right. and all we've got to do is, is as I said the word belief in Greek means to deceive, delude, and, and lie. So that's all I'm saying. Okay. Right. And to recap the last one about uh, the male perspective and, and, and do women expect that women expect too much, um, you know, put a, 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 a high, a, you know, high, very high uh, um, expectations. Um, what's your what's your thoughts on, on, on that uh, and your, you know, about women setting the bar of expectations? Too uh, high, by so. design on us, by other, another species of animal or male, of, of another species, you know, the, the plan was to, to, it has originally been to separate the male and female, so we have not had a relationship because relationships means proper communication. Communication is the key. And society has been dictating to us who we're supposed to choose as partners, so the time is now we, we need to define ourselves because what's happened we've let somebody else define who we are and we're working under somebody else's definition of who we are and how we're supposed to conduct ourselves yeah. until we throw that tag or that label away we're going to be in a self-perpetuating cycle of destruction in relationships right. so, so we, we have to move off of that premise, off of that, premise. That, that being sold to us in terms of um, romance uh, 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 and because the, the, the very expectations that, that we are setting on our own have been created for us uh, uh, in terms of the system in the way that we should relate uh, and deal with each other is based on a false premise. Uh, I've just had a text from uh, uh, from Amanda, uh, all, the, all the way from Freetown in Sierra Leone, and she's saying that we're doing uh, that we're doing a fantastic job. Thank you, Freetown. Thank you, Amanda. Yes. Uh, we reaching as far as there. Wow! Yes. Bringing up everybody worldwide who's been tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed this show. Yeah. And when will uh, amazing Grace be back? Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, no, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good afternoon. Get the door. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good afternoon, there, I'm Amanda. How are you doing, in Freetown? Because of that. Um, I'll repeat the question again. Could Depending on where we are, yes. geographically as well. Yes. yes. Exactly, yeah. Mm. Exactly where you are determines that there's a, 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 a dynamic in the culture that you're in at in that specific point of um, your geographical um, situation so that that's a key element as well that you need to uh, analyze that and see what effects it has on your relationship in comparative to our previous or successful relationships maybe somewhere else yes yeah but uh, we kind of a lost grace there because she's probably internet problem there uh, but what grace was I mean Amanda uh, was quite kind of saying that it, uh, of, it, it of the, the uh, cultural aspects uh, as well has got to do yeah, um, where you are. So, thank you for listening. Um, and join us next Sunday. Jobs. Thank you for listening. A bit of water on the road. You're only doing 70. It's only a car breaking in front. It's only a skid. It's one lane. It's only a family.
and their kids in the back. When it rains, it kills. Last year, 2,918 people were killed or seriously injured when driving in the rain. Slow down.